What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke, and last episode we sadly, sadly, sadly lost Zelda. Um, I kind of played that last battle stupidly when I was looking back over at <laughs> the video when I was editing it. And I realized I should have just kept teardrops in and we could have kept Zelda on the team. But now we have Shimmy Sham, uh, which I haven't done any extra leveling or anything for the team. So right now things are things are looking decent i'll say for us um i'm starting off this gym challenge just gonna go in with um with teardrops no 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 not teardrops nikki actually because i'm expecting nikki to actually evolve in this episode i think the level's getting close i thought it was level 26 that nikki would evolve at but i guess i'm wrong so i'll have to look back again maybe it's 28 I thought it was an even number, but I'm pretty sure it's in the 20s and not the 30s for its evolution. So, here we are at the gym, guys. Uh, you guys already know this challenge if you saw my original playthrough where we just have to catch two Pokemon and defeat the last one. You just have to accumulate five points or more. And this won't count for the Nuzlocke, even though you can like legally like catch these. Uh, being that it's not random, that's why like none of these I'll be keeping on the team. But I want to at least first take out this guy's Pokemon first and then focus on the Vulpix. Yeah, that times four sends him out of here. Uh, of course, how did I know it was going to be a will o -Wisp? But that actually kind of works in our favor because will o -Wisp lowers our attack. So, even though I have the Magnet on, which will deal extra damage plus the stab damage from electric moves, I can have that damage decrease just a little bit uh, thanks to that burn. Oh wow, we didn't take out the, the Growlithe like that. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you do your thing, Growlithe. Attack the Vulpix and not me. Typically they attack you. Um, but maybe it's just on this fight the guy wants to make the Pokemon faint so you can't get the two points. I don't know, that's the only thing that comes to mind for me on why he would use Bite. Oh man, maybe I should Thunder Wave it. I was like wondering what that lag was for. And then hopefully you get paralyzed. Um, oh, no, you're just gonna use Confuse Ray. And I guess that means uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna be tear chilling, trying to catch you. Unless what levels, I can send out Neo. Just cause I'm tired of having all that burn damage on Nikki and I don't want to take the chance of Vulpix getting a crit or something on a move. Do I have anything better though? No, I don't. I probably should have bought more Great Balls before I came in here then. There we go. That's two points down. Three more to go. Nope, because you don't even count, so I'll be releasing those pretty much after the battle. I don't even think I bought um, potions. I sure didn't. Oh man, I have like nothing for the berries too. Pathetic. Pathetic. I don't know. I don't know why I came in like this. I think I told myself last episode, like at the end, I was going to go buy it items like healing items and then in the end i forgot to do it i just saved the game and logged off i 
Oh, you spike out on me. Oh, see that kind of backfired for them at least. I wish um, you could get EXP for taking out like the opponent, like your partner's Pokemon only if they're working against you like they were in that case. Now that I have Nikki though, like Thunder Wave can come in clutch for trying to catch Pokemon. Yeah, raise your defense, bro. Um, only bad thing is just gonna be if he one hit KOs us, and I can't imagine you one hit KOing teardrops. Yeah, okay, we're pretty good on that. Sweet. Now let's let's catch you. I'm not even gonna lie guys, we're probably gonna lose somebody on this chin battle just because I didn't come in here with uh, anything to heal them up with. Okay, that worked out. And then I think just to speed things up, we're just gonna put teardrops out there. Funny enough, um, Litwick's evolution line is like one of my favorites from Gen 5. It's kind of just naturally badass in my opinion. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, only thing is just that that worry about how things are gonna be going for us. I wish I had a. I just wish I had leftovers or something to to put on the team. All right, guys, um, let's hope this doesn't result in a wipe. Um, right now, Teardrops is like the only formidable one on the team that can really help sweep. I thought I was gonna be going in here with my game plan to use Nikki or have Nikki evolved, but that wasn't the case. So, sadly, um, we're gonna have to put our faith in Teardrops and Nikki in this fight, and hopefully we don't lose either of them. If it all, if it ever comes down to like who I need to sacrifice, it's it's gonna be Shimmy Sham for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I've just never really been a big fan of like Ludicolo like that. Alrighty. I like how the stadium looks. I never really admired it. I think the first time I played through, you can't do this gym. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why you have the Nine Tails, the Arcanine, and the uh, Sizzlepeed, or whatever the evolution was called. I know I can't one-hit KO you as much as I'd like to. I knew the Will-O-Wisp was coming. I was thinking about putting a Rossberry on Teardrops, but I don't really care for um, the burn like that because it lowers my physical attack, not my special attack.
But I think if it came down to it for, um, what was it? If it came down to it for who to send out there with the, uh, with his with his final like Gigantamax Pokemon, I'm most likely thinking about sending Sir Pex out there. That Arcanine has to be fast. Wow, we outspeed your Arcanine. Oh, and we one hit KO it. Shimmy Sham hit level 22. It's just my biggest thing right now is just because I think Santa Scorch can learn a grass move. I'm thinking a grass move is what Santa Scorch knows, and Sarpex would probably be the best to switch out to. I don't think it'll know a rock type move. I can't imagine doing a rock type or a flying type move. And Sarpex has more health as well, so. Send you out, Dynamax you, use Pluck. Um, hopefully we're faster, so that way we can try for two attacks um, to take it out. But yeah, we'll do Max Airstream. Depending on how much damage it does, um, will affect what I do next. I might have to guard on the next couple of turns. But if this does a decent amount of damage and their moves don't do that much to me, it's it's over for them. But it's good to know we outspeed. I need to start doing the uh, the den so I can get the candy to increase my Pokemon's health for when we do Dynamax out here. Another thing, I was counting on Zelda to handle the Fairy Gym when we got to the Fairy Gym. Ooh, that was a crit. That's why we did so much. Ooh. Proud of you, Serpex. We don't use you that often, but when we do, it's clutch. Yeah, good thing we're not a fire or steel type yet. It's fine. GG. This actually went better than expected without having to use super potions or anything. But yeah, I do believe that his Santa Scorch knows a grass move. Okay, we got four people leveling up. I'm really proud that uh, Checkmates got that level up. I really want to use Checkmate later on. Um, only thing I'm worried about is when I go to the Fairy Gym, I want to use Checkmate, but I want Checkmate to be Evolved. And I'm not sure if we'll be there just yet to have... Oh! Mickey's evolving. Oh, uh, this is actually clutch. So it is 27. Okay. Dang, I should have evolved uh, before the, the fight and probably just like start off with a lantern. But okay guys, Nikki evolved into lantern. So now we got a nice, a nice lantern on the team. Uh, that's actually pretty clutch. What moves are you going to stockpile? Oh, so you can be tanky. This, guys, I like, I like never use... Um, I never use lanterns. But we'll get rid of Confuse, right? Uh, wow, we can learn... See, but the thing is, is like, I have to either get rid of... Thunder Wave, or I get rid of Spark, but this makes it easier to catch, but I don't think I'll really use it like that for catching. That was clutch for this challenge, but if I ever need to heal up and I'm out of potions like I am before, that'll actually be pretty clutch to have. Other than the fact that stockpiling in general will make me more bulky for the Lantern, so nothing to worry about too much. Oh man, after this, I need to definitely go to 
buy some healing items and some more uh, Plucky Balls, well Great Balls more so than anything. Because then we can move on to the next area actually. Because I'm trying to think on the next areas to catch Pokemon at. That'll help diversify the team. Honestly, I want to replace Shimmy Sham so fast. I don't know why, it's just I don't I don't want Shimmy Sham like that. But I do want a grass Pokemon on the team, so I'm hoping I can get like an Oddish or something. Oh yeah, you're all excited about being a- oh wow, there's a purple one over there. I wonder what Pokemon is in that den. Yeah, Bede came over to talk all his smack. Yeah, later, my dude. Uh, we need to go back and buy Pokeballs and potions. I wasn't playing about that. I'm not about to have myself out here just... Just slacking. Slacking, lacking. I don't know why I did that, like they weren't already fully healed. <laughs> okay, that, yeah, that notification's still about that while, just because I haven't went to go catch that uh, Galarian Slowpoke. And I think, yeah, that's all I want. What do you have, sir? Okay, yeah, nothing important. Honestly, I think this is a great time to not put you. To put Nikki back out front. I know Neo's kind of like slowing down in, in levels. And I'll most likely get him back caught up. I just need him to evolve into Arcanine so we can deal way more damage with our moves. Um, which, oh man, this is going to bite me in the butt because I actually haven't been going to these dens and collecting uh, this stuff like I'm supposed to be. But let's look at the map so I can see. Uh, okay, yeah, I can catch a Pokemon here. Oh, I can catch one, two, three, four. I can catch four Pokemon actually just in this area in general, uh, which I'm probably, I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check out what, cause I know up there in like this, this upper left region is like ghost Pokemon, I think. 
So, if anything, like, I can add a, a ghost type onto the team, which would be pretty clutch. Ooh, almost hit that. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Okay, we got a goal it. Oh wow, I could have caught you early on. Oh my gosh. So he's ghost ground type, I think? That was very uneventful. Actually would have been clutch to have on the team for this gym battle, but yeah, ground ghost. Um, yeah, we'd like to give a nickname. Uh, I want to call you Tank Buster. It's kind of like a weird name to, to use, but I don't know. I just feel like he himself is a tank, but he can also destroy other bulky built uh, Pokemon. Oh, you have a light clay. Yeah, we're gonna put that in the bag. I think light clay boosts ground type moves. So that was our catch for that region of uh, of the map. Wow, we're getting we're getting revives that we can't even use. Y'all y'all know that was nice. <laughs> but okay, now we're about to go to the next area. Um, at least for like the stronger level Pokemon and see about catching someone and hopefully it's a nice pokemon to add to the team i'm not even gonna lie i'm kind of gonna be biased in this area because i think like the grass parts in this area give you different pokemon and i don't want something with just like trash you know Okay, never mind. It looks like all of them are putting out like the the same Pokemon. I just want to see what's in this den. <laughs> oh, poison! Oh, that's a uh, the scorpion thing. Oh. Didn't I just run through it? <laughs> a stuffle. I did not see a stuffle over here at all. And you're also low level. What is what is up with these really low levels? I just want something in the 20s. Okay, we uh, got ourselves a stuffle. Ah, oh, you're a chick too. We're gonna call you Squeeze. So that becomes a normal fighting type? I believe normal fighting type. Giant seed. I'm just checking out to see like what the what the names of like the areas are. And I should have went down instead of up, but I guess it works out because now we get that. Okay, so we might be able to get a cool steel type here. I've never used the bra oh man, I just saw a Lombre and I'm just like, no. <laughs> oh, I can't even catch you, beware, because I already caught your pre-evolution. 
Oh my god, you're... Jeez. Okay, maybe it's best I start off with teardrops instead. But this actually might be like a nice area for me to like level in and train at. You're telling me there's nothing for me to run into? Uh, one day I'll have one of you. <laughs> I think this is where you can get the Duraludon too. It's supposed to pop up there. I don't know where he's at. Is that? Yep. Oh, I got a Tranquil? Gross. <laughs> and you're freaking level 35. Jeez. Air Cutter can get critical hits. There's there's not much for me to do but try to catch it. I don't think we'll be able to catch this thing. Yeah, you're like way too high of a level. I didn't even check what the badge said I could catch either. Okay, that wasn't a crit. And what I'm not gonna do is try to beat out the confusion. Because we might end up taking teardrops out. So I'll have Nikki out here with the not very effectiveness from Air Cutter. See, there was a crit hit and you couldn't even tell. Oh, that's fine. I was just going to raise my defense. But uh, I know what I'm doing after this video, guys. I'm about to be training up in here, get everybody's levels up to a nice, a nice good level. I'll try not to evolve anybody, but if they evolve like off camera, it is what it is. I don't even know how much damage we'll really do with our bubble beam. Because at least it's not going to be super effective. But this might take out Tranquil. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, we got one rock. That's better than none. So close. Okay, we might just have to take an L on this one. Either we take the L, or I think there was like a, a level clause rule, where it's like if the Pokemon is like a certain amount of levels above you, like it doesn't count. But I don't know. I, kind of feel like I already used a good amount of great balls on trying to capture this thing. I don't even think I would use it on the team even if it came down to it.
Yeah, we might just have to take the L on this one, guys. I'm not about to go through all the great balls for this one. How many do I have left? Yeah, I went through a good amount. So we're just going to have to take the L on this one and not capture it. But it's good EXP, at least I hope so. Better have been worth all that effort. Oh yeah, yeah, see, look at that. So that, that's just, it is what it is. Take that L. Woo! Okay, guys, we are at the next uh, area for the wild area. And... Yeah, the riverbank. Motostock riverbank. So that's another encounter I can do here. Um, I'm really just hoping I don't get something bad. But I think there was stuff up here to get. I don't know if this was... Oh, uh, yeah, facade. But I feel like there was like somewhere over here there was supposed to be like a, a firestone or something to get. Yep, there we go. So you guys already know what that means. That means we can evolve our Growlithe uh, into an Arcanine. But we're going to do this wild encounter. See what we get. Oh, uh, can't get you. We already have you on the team. I just realized, like, Teardrop needs to needs to be healed up too for this uh, wild encounter. Something good? Are you female? Are you at least female? <laughs> oh, you are! <laughs> Clutch. Okay, so that works out. So if we end up losing Neo, we can actually switch out for uh, Slandon and evolve into a Slalazzle. I think that was the name. And it's Fire Poison, so I'm coming Clutch for the Fairy Gem if it ever comes down to us needing that type of replacement. Especially because Fairy doesn't do that much to Fire. Wow, we did not catch you on that. And your Ember did a little too much, sir. Or ma'am. <laughs> gotcha. That was a big, like, EXP drop from that other zone. <laughs> But okay, um, I'm gonna nickname you Bougie. Because when you evolve, you look bougie as hell. Or I should say Bougie Queen. Like Beauty Queen, but Bougie. Bougie Queen. Maybe I should put a space up. And I forgot to put a space. <laughs> But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode a lot. I know I enjoyed it. Um, with taking down that gym and adding some new Pokemon into the box to add to the roster later, I don't know if I want to actually switch out someone with Shimmy Sham or not, being that Shimmy Sham is like our only hope at having some type of grass on the team because it's a grass water type. But make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel for more content to come. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell because that way you'll be updated on when these videos get uploaded. But with that said, guys, take it easy. Later.